Hi guys, I'm Bill Beto, and welcome back to the surreal world of Hardland. It's been a little while since we've played this, but um, it's been having numerous updates, so we shall see if we can just continue. There we go. So it's migrating to a new version. Some objects and most enemies will reset. There we go. Let's just see what we've got. Does that not make any difference to my armour? No, it doesn't. Right. Now then. Hard War UK told me that I'd run past the person with the hat. So I think we'll head back south to the town of Fortuna. The Horned Lodge. Well, I'm kind of curious what's in here. So if you haven't watched the previous videos in this series, um, it, it has been nearly a month since I've done one of these. Um, you wake up on the shoreline of this strange little world. Go away, nobody's here. Didn't you hear me the first time? Scram. Oh, he's just going to tell me the same thing over and over again. Okay. So I guess there's a way into the lodge, but I haven't found it yet. Now, I need to be heading south. So you wander around, you wake up on the shore of a strange land. You should lighten your purse and you talk to people. What are you selling and have I got any money? I have got money. I could do with hell. <coughs> well, I can't afford that. Let's say you're having a dream. Let's say you're hurt. You wake up and you're fine. Drinking this is a little like that. Healing 100%. Wow. 1,150. I can't afford it. Yeah. I need to find a way to make money in this game. I'm constantly short of cash. So if any of you guys have tips about how to make money in this game... That would be great. But at the moment, I am looking for... We've talked to you before. This road in particular leads straight there. Yes. We've read you before. We're heading back to the town of Fortuna with a specific purpose in mind. No, I've got no money. To a bar the bodger. Anyone who claims to talk to vegetables doesn't know what they're talking about. Vegetables don't have tongues, do they? So how could they talk? They can't talk, that's it. What a good day to you. It sure would be nice to put a bookmark in your life. Then if something goes wrong, you just flip back to the earlier page. That's what some people say Lady Fortuna did when she slept at campfires. There you go. Oh, 
That looks like a very bold, big monster over there. Which I think I should avoid. Horatio! Hello! If there's one thing I know, it's to trust in the king. I pray for his guidance every day. It's a very fine hat you have there, Christopher. Hail, Pilgrim. Not as fine as mine, obviously. It used to be a time I'd imagine what my children look like. Imagination's all they'll ever be. So yeah, all the children have disappeared. Or there just are no children. Rowley the Woodward, luck be with you. A few decades ago you'd never see a goblin anywhere. People thought they were legends. Then they started crawling out of the ground. Something about this kingdom is changing. Yeah, no children, goblins everywhere. Remy, well met, Wanderer. Why are you wearing a baseball cap? They weren't built to heal people, that's not the point. Those altars all across the kingdom, that's right, they were built to heal the land. Okay. Katrin, good morrow, traveller. Healing altars are like trees. You think standing above ground you're looking at the whole picture, but you're missing the roots, and the root system is enormous. So there's lots of talk about roots in trees and the root king. Oh, oh. Don't think we want to fight those guys. They look like they wanted to fight us, though. Town of Fortuna. You can't really swim, so I will have to go across this bridge. Glorious Emmanuel. What a wonderful day. Smell that fresh air. Perfect weather for an adventure. I'm on my way to hunt for hearts. Say, you a heart hunter too? Yes, I'm a heart hunter. I knew it. A kindred spirit. The thrill, the chase, the pumping blood. Maybe you'll see me again if you stop by Root Hall. I'm going to collect the King's reward. Maybe I will. You never know. Just you watch. They'll roll out the red carpet for me at Root Hall. Tell me about yourself, Glorious Emmanuel. I can sniff out any beast. Goblins, ghouls, forgotten folk. I put my nose to the wind, take a whiff, and I'm hot on their trail. No monster can hide from my nostrils. I see. I'm telling you, they'll love me at Root Hall. Good for you. You're ever so slightly strange as well, aren't you, Glorious Emmanuel? Now, there's a whole host of goblins over there. Can't talk to you. No, you're just a guy. Can I bash these battles? No, no, I want the pick up piggy. Can I pick up piggy? No. What's a tree trunk? I can carry the tree trunk. Rawr, look at me. Woohoo. Little chunk. Jolly Rupert, you'll want some cash out of me as well. I ain't got none. I think it's getting dark, so what we'll do is we'll have a little bit of a sleep. We'll rest until morning. You dream. Put that down. I know you stole it. Now you're going to prison. I won't hear any protest. You're guilty. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, so in the second video of the series, uh, I ran past somebody who was wearing a wizard hat, and uh, I think it was Hard War UK noticed. Think twice before testing the law. My captain doesn't like it when I ask where we'll find new recruits. I don't like it either. That's why I'm asking. Uh -huh. Hey, psst. Bald Marius. It looks like you could use a better weapon. I killed a horrific skeleton warrior and stole a powerful blade from its dead bony hand. Bring, bring me 3,000 gold coins and I'll give it to you. But let's keep this just between you and me, okay? Well, I'm a long way from having 3,000 gold. Good day to you, traveller. Good day, Muriel. Look, I appreciate what our undertaker does, but handling dead bodies for a living, no thank you. Lots of pigs in this game. What's through this door? Hilbert, well met, traveller. Yeah, don't mind me just wandering into your house. Goblins are our mortal enemies. I'm sure you've heard. Because they enjoy eating us. Well, we eat pigs and chickens. Does that make us their mortal enemies? Maybe we're all just each other's meals. Hmm. Do you mind if I have this pork tuna lager? No, I didn't think you did. So, in this game, I need to find a way to get healing stuff. Will you? Yeah, well, you're not going to be with me. Keep in line and we'll get along. A quiet enough town, this one, although it attracts a steady pilgrimage. Worshippers arrive from all around. Uh -huh. Aha! Now that is a wizard's hat if ever I saw one. What do you think it's like in Larry's house? Oh my goodness, the smell. I'll sneak in death side if you dare me to sneak inside. I'm not going to dare you to do anything. Let's talk to Mary. I'm sure he's probably a nice man, he just has problems. I have problems, you have problems, Larry has a problem. Maybe he needs somebody to talk to him. You know, a friend. If you ask him what he needs, he'll just say another drink. He drank a lot, that's what. It's more than that. He doesn't wash either, or have any visitors. So how do I get Jane to do something? Yeah, they're just repeating their story. No, we're just going through that again. So, I found the wizard's hat, but I can't get it. I wonder if I was wearing a more sensible hat on my head, if that might, um... Let's look at headgear. It's dashing, it's daring, and adventurous hat. No, I think we're just going through the same conversation again. Let's try my uh, posh hat. No. I wish I could dare you to do something. He seems sad. wonder where Larry lives. Maybe I need to go and find Larry. Maybe Larry's the wizard.
No. Nope. Right. We will just then go back to my bucket hat because I do kind of think that's appropriate for the game. Well, there's Larry's house. Look there. And we're here, so we need to head virtually east to get to Larry's house. So let's let's go to Larry's house. That's clearly where the direction is to go to. I'll step lightly. Never did anything to deserve it. Can't blame me, I'm not going back. Dump that goddamn Jew in the river. There's too much like the king's got his claws in your heart. What are you talking about, Larry? Oh, hello, I don't believe we've met. We have. Fine weather we're having this week, isn't it? Not a cloud in the sky, just those white things. Yes, Larry. We've spoken before. What are you doing? Father Holloway sent you, did he? Come on, that's your old Larry about his drinking too much. Can't drink too much in this town. You're still always here when you open your eyes. Have I missed something in my conversations with Larry? Tell me about yourself. What's that to tell? Just a blubbering drunk. Need a laugh? Take a gander at Larry the drunk, they all say. Well, maybe they drink too if they knew what Larry did. Don't want to talk about it. Who are you again? Somebody from the church coming to hassle me. I ain't going back there. Larry's a good boy. Always says his prayers. Our hearts exult in the king. Our souls, our souls. Our souls is holy, like like holy souls. Shade them from sin. All them holy souls could poke a finger, finger through. Amen. So he didn't I tell you? Praying day and night. That's all, Larry. He never stops praying. What was I saying? Something about something. Tell me about Father Holloway. Wouldn't speak a word against him. Hang up that. No, no, Larry's a, ain't got no parents except Father Holloway. Bless Father Holloway. What happened to your parents? That's me. Mother and father. What goes a mother and father when you got a pint? Larry's pints are all the parents Larry needs. Tell me about your mother. Nope. Not going to talk about it. Not going to talk about it. What was I saying? Something about something. Tell me about your father. Ain't got no father. Never did. Everyone's got a father but Larry. Well, Father Holloway, but he ain't no father. Bless his heart. He knows what's best for me. Says that I shouldn't drink. Oh, goddamn drink. Father Holloway is your father. It never happens to you when you dream. You think you meet someone. You're standing right there at the doorway and there's white light coming through. But the door's locked. Father Holloway says that's the alcohol talking. Wait a minute, what did you say? Holloway's my father? He ain't my damn father. He's your father, you hear me? Larry's father never talked to him. Larry's father never came around. Larry could use a drink. What was I saying? Something about something. I might have a drink for you. Uh, nothing right now. Yeah. So I need better drinks, perhaps. Takes a nosy, dreamy, or gaping pumpkin. Okay. Sworn statement. Let's pick that up. And a potato. You've got a chicken in your house, Larry. Oh, and a large key. And a large treasure which opens with a large key. Cabbage, an Alexa, a small Alexa. Anything else? Yeah, that was a virtual assistant chiming in there. We'll call those jugs from now on, just to be on the safe side. So we don't set her off. Oh, well, that was a happy place to go. Now let's see what we picked up there. Oh, got a small elixir, 25% healing. A great, yeah, a great jug. We'll call them jugs. Let's remember to call them jugs, otherwise we set her off. 
verger cheese, made famous as a rebel king's favourite dish. After his defeat during the Seventh Sovereign War, his supporters spread the recipe. So they all heal a little bit. Let's read this note. I do hereby swear, having borne witness to these atrocities, their details are faithfully rendered. That's the first line. Then come the atrocities. My, are they atrocities. At the bottom, X, 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 X is scribbled, an illiterate child's signature. Interesting. Oh. That's right, I remember you. You're someone I don't remember. Tell me about this sworn statement. No, I didn't hurt no one. I didn't mean to hurt no one. Who gave me that goddamn paper? Father Holloway just asked me to sign it, and I... I... I don't want to talk about it. Seventeen years. Seventeen years ought to be enough to forget anything. Where's my beer? I need more beer. I'm a horrible boy. Oh, poor Larry. He's drinking to forget whatever he did 17 years ago. Now then, where is Father what's his name? Is he at St. Fortuna's rest down here? Got a feeling he might be, so we need to head east and then south. Yeah, stop staring at chickens. Well, good for you, prison former. Good day to you, Trevor. Oh, yes, we've already had that conversation. Exciting times, these. One day, just you wait, I'll kill the Goblin King. What? Don't think I'm strong enough? I'll cut its heart out, march up the root hole, and spend the rest of my days counting reward money. Well, good for you, Phil Odoin. We're heading in the right direction. What we need to do is find a campfire, because it's getting a bit dark. Don't forget to sleep. I know you adventurers think you can stay up all night running around, but it's important to sleep. A good night's rest at campfire can save your life. Cool. Where's the nearest campfire? There's one just ahead of me up this road. There it is. Well, it's farther Holloway, but we'll have a bit of a, a rest first at the campfire. sleep. Perchance to dream. You dream. Sausages strike your face. Meat dangles everywhere. You cannot find a door. Someone is sharpening a knife. Oh, right, yes. Yeah. Oh. Are you guys having a rest as well? Now, where did Father Holloway go? Did he go inside, do you think? You got anything new to say to me, Quinns? No trip to Fortuna is complete without a visit to the church. It's almost as old as the Elder King, and that's saying something. Stay away from the town well, especially at night. If you fall inside, you might never climb out again. Well, I've, I've been in and out.
The Pilgrim, Brother Linus, the purple one, the imp's guardian. Wilbur the stormy eyed. The publican with the moustache. Eleanor Markar, Father Macklin. Gilmuster Algo, XXXX, so that's Larry, isn't it? The Queen's Wolf, the Queen of the North. There's a whole load of people. Stop reading, yeah. Gross matter stirs beneath the earth. Worms turn the unwholesome dead. My children, these are seasons too. As death follows life, life follows death. What rots is what fattens the land. What falls is what rises again. Yeah, that's not always a good thing. We must decay to grow, wither to bloom. Is it raining inside the church? In foul soil, flowers burgeon. We must enrich the earth. We must enrich the soil with our sins. Bury your misdeeds, confess your crimes. Cast away your worldly possessions. You can give them to me if you want. I could deal with some more possessions. Whatever you shed, let the church receive. Whatever you shed will strengthen the king. What would poison you, he purifies. What would corrupt you, he sanctifies. Base gold most corrupts mankind. Covet gold and imperil your soul. Plant gold arms instead, children. Plant them in the king's garden. Our church is his garden, of course. Of course it is, yes. Our coffers are his planting pots. Fill them with coins till they overflow. In fact, we'll accept most valuables. Swipe your credit card here. Everything precious is sinful temptation. Wealth blackens the spirit. Well, my spirit ain't very blackened. Unburden your wealth, children. If I had some, I might. Empty your debased pockets. Our king transmutes sins to salvation. Give yourselves to him and grow again. Yes, you're going to go on in the same vein, aren't you? King's Eastern Fist. Enshrined in holy reverence to his wooden majesty, the one and only God and our eternal king. I haven't got a thousand gold, so don't fancy stealing the relics with those guys watching me. A small jug. Let's call it a jug so we don't set her off. I've already got a shovel. Oh, I don't need to buy it, I can just pick it up. That's handy. Don't think there's anybody else we can talk to in there. That's just the guest book, which we've already read. Now, I've already wandered around these parts, but I've just realised from watching previous videos that I haven't actually um, always paid as much attention as I should. St. Fortuna, Fortuna Memorial. So we'll just double check everywhere. Henrik the Turner. I suppose you've journeyed here to see our church. 
You're not the first and you won't be the last. Tall Letty. One good fishing. If you can brave the wilderness, I've heard big ones always bite at the Dulac pillars. And if you can brave the cold. Did I mention the cold? <coughs> Dulac pillars? Have I found Dulac pillars? Not sure I have. Peace be with you, Frederick. I heard another ship crashed on the western coast. Supposedly this one's from Samarkand. You think it might have been the Vasily Serpent again? I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to be a sailor in the waters around here for anything. That's all right. Oh, did I nearly knock that one over? Ooh. Didn't realise you could uh, interact with us. A nosy, dreamy or gaping pumpkin. I think it's getting dark again. Yep. You two still here? You dream. Somber bards strum lutes in a tavern. Their dirge becomes a dance. Everyone laughs. You're dancing too. So there is a tavern. <coughs> Father Holloway never gets enough rest. The poor man, always keeping watch at night. He needs to lie down for a good sleep in the church. That's what I say. He keeps watch at night. Aha, so maybe that's the thing. Rather than going to sleep, I need to come back at night time. What are you guys all doing lined up there? How people wept to see our king slaughtered upon the ground. His arms and legs torn grievously, his organs strewn around. Lady Fortuna took a sword, she pledged to slay the beast, whose claws and jaws had made our sovereign's flesh into a feast. It fought her in the forest, and she fought it on the shore, the hard ogre whose teeth were always chomping to eat more. Against her horns her blade did strike, it smote her on the head. She drove her sword into its heart until the beast was dead. Her bloody sword, Lady Fortuna, laid in green clover. Her eyes closed in eternal sleep, her own life was over. Now she rests where we all must rest, beneath our king's body, among the roots from which we spring, with everything holy. Okay. So where's Father Holloway? So I wonder if it's different things going on in the church every time you visit. And where's Father Holloway gone? You have my blessings. Every root in this kingdom runs through the Elder King's bodily. We're merely moss on his trunk. Okay. Don't forget to sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know.
Right, let's have a bit wonder. See if there's anybody's home as we can just wander into. Well, they're not very trusting, are they? They've all locked the doors. Hello, Marjorie. So Pulga wasn't a knight of the clover, was he? I don't think so. The knights of the clover weren't that small. Come to think of it, no other knight was that small. Pleasure to meet you, Larkin. I'll never forget that day I caught some monks on the cliff outside the church. Everyone does it, but monks, in broad daylight. Brother Tom Bowler was there. Said they were making an offering to the ocean. Caught one up. I haven't seen them again, which just means they're doing it indoors. Doing what indoors? Do I want to know? Maybe not. You haven't got anything for me to appropriate, have you not? No. I don't know. Right, let's have a look at the map. Fisherman's house. So they were talking about fishing. So I'm wondering if these guys are giving you clues that you need to follow up on. Greetings, Kamrick. Goblins hate talking to people, but they'll talk to other goblins. My brother went undercover at a goblin camp for a month, disguised as a goblin himself. The stories he brought back were definitely not appropriate for the dinner table. Okay. Nobody needs to remember. Poor Larry. Right, let's head north. Door. I'm sure I've talked to you, Wilbert. Yes, I have talked to you. <coughs> but I think possibly I've talked to you outside. Yeah, I've already talked to you. I haven't got 3,000 gold. Fisherman's house. Around here somewhere. That might have been that house back there with the locked door actually. Dave's Fishing. Oh yes, Dave's Fishing Co. We've been at Dave's Fishing House before. Medium jug. Call them jugs so that our electronic friend doesn't uh, react. Let's see if we can learn anything more from Dave the Fisherman. Good day for fishing. Of course, it helps when people buy some too. I've got a good arrangement with the market, helps me sleep at night. No, no, I always have fish in my pot and a coin or two in my pocket. I deliver the Demovois fish. Got to keep them well stocked, haven't we? Truth be told, I just thought it would be nice for him to see another face. Some townsfolk avoid the poor bloke. You probably made his day showing up with that special delivery. It was no trouble. It meant more than you know. For someone like the Demovi, being approached like an average person matters a lot. Here, why don't you take some pocket change? Head on back and treat yourself to some more fish from his store. Received a hundred gold. Carved pumpkin. Oh. Lots of stuff. Treasure chest. Have I got a medium key? I have. Oh, 
Not sure why I would want to carry a cartwheel. To put it on the cart, perhaps? Hmm. Right, well, let's all head back into town and talk to Demovoi. Put a bit of a sprint on. Yeah, yeah, I'll think twice before causing bother. Don't worry. Now, uh, where's the marketplace? Probably need to be heading south, I should think. Yeah. Yeah, I just had the same conversation again. Oh, doggy. Good day. Merchants are such jolly fellows, don't you find? All smaths, smiles, laughs. Smaths? I combined smiles and laughs with twinkles in their eyes. You ought to see those eyes twinkle when they've got gold in their palms. Yeah. It's dark. So where's the nearest campfire? Uh, is it that one to the north? It's a bit hard to tell. No, that's not a campfire, that's just a torch. I suppose it makes sense that there isn't a campfire in the Vandal the Swindler. Well, that's an honest name for a, <coughs> a trader, isn't it? Towel. Let's talk to Towel. Don't mess about with cauldrons. Nothing good comes from them. Only spells and blasphemies and talking vegetables. There's not a bit of crockery more unwholesome than a cauldron. All right, then, Towel. Let's sleep until morning. You dream. Sunlight in a garden. Droning bees. A summer breeze. You watch a shadow glide backward around a sundial. You watch a shadow glide backward around a sundial. Right, let's head back to the market and talk to Demovoi. We'll ignore Randall the Swindler. No, they're not they're not talking anything different. Demovoi You like fishy business? Demovoi sell fish. Friend Dave, catch always fresh. You want? I'd like to buy fish. No more for discount. Full price, good fish. Deserve full price. <coughs> One spotted pike. Warrior fish. Warriors eat pike, get strong. You eat pike, you get strong too. I like them, boy. Good day, adventurer. I just reached the forest when I woke up. Next time, I'll walk faster. <coughs> now, sometimes there's stuff down here you can pick up. Oh. Bit of a drop. Stay away. Mysterious coffin. Open me, please open me. Can't. Won't let me. Skull. 
I haven't got a secret key. So I can't open the locked door. sell honey buckets or wear them on my head so and there seems to be a new one every day so that's cool I kicked something what did I kick I don't know Climb up the rope and back out. Beautiful weather, isn't it? When your church carries your name, then you've made it. Saint Ophio, Saint Fortuna, Saint Beltane. All we'll get are some common gravestones for our names, if we're lucky. You don't need goods. Yeah, but particularly if you're going to just give me them. Uh, can we sell a torch? Yep. What's that? Compass. We'll not sell the compass. We'll sell a spare honey bucket. All pumpkins are alive, but carving a face won't convince one to talk. You'll need a magic recipe for that. Okay. Now, actually, I've got some food and drink. I'm almost at the point where a combat might be plausible. Healing 60%. Let's buy a couple of those. That's quite a bit of healing. Mystery Trader. Shake it, drop it, it still keeps time perfectly down to the second. That's because it's built according to an original Adzo design. That's not cheap. None of those things are cheap. We'll just ignore that. Faithful Lance. I was sick enough, my word. I thought I'd cough, a lot, cough along a, a lung or two. But when I touch the church's relic, I'll swear I was cured. Okay. Ivan, health to you, stranger. I once had the honour of meeting the Union's third secretary. Terribly affable man. He even shook my hand. How's that for a great merchant lord? No matter what happens to the village of Vonsmark or the Port of Palms, I'll remember his handshake fondly. <laughs> Care for fresh vegetables? Nah, I've got plenty of fresh vegetables. And they all do more or less the same, don't they? His fingers are the vegetables that sprout from the soil. His fingernails the carrots around which the worms coil. Well, that's the last time I've eaten a carrot. His left kidney is red, a pepper with the brightest flesh. It has the most delicious crunch when bitten it into fresh. Yeah. His lungs expand across the land with every breath he takes. Eggplants that swell as he inhales through pits and caves and lakes. Okay. A pleasure to meet you. Wizards are barely tolerated, but witches? Well, since there aren't any left, I guess you could say they don't need to be tolerated. Yep. Right. 
Well, I think it looks like darkness again, and we need to be heading back to the campfire. Where's the nearest one? There's one, one just south of it, I think. Oh, it's bright, bright daylight here. No, I know about hearts and such like. He's a big fella, that Elder Guardian. Why, why are you carrying a pig? Why would a wizard, wizard relocate to the rotten circle? Is it the climate, you think? No, it's got to be the floor. More mushrooms, perhaps. Or maybe deadly a nightshade. Why can you carry a pig and I can't? That's quite strange. Potatoes in a pot. Three is the number. That's an old nursery name. Don't hear it much anymore. No children to sing the things. Which leaves it to crotchety folks like myself. Pot potatoes in a pot. Three is the number. Stir a lot. Tell me about yourself, old Toby. Always wanted children. What happened now? Whatever's in the land, it's got into the people too. A little old to go a court ever since the wife died anyway. No, no. I've got to stay content. Just rest here and take in the golden years. Even nursery rhymes are worth remembering. Tell me about nursery rhymes. Just foolishness, some people that I say. I say, of course they are. They're nursery rhymes. But that doesn't mean we ought to forget them. I remember singing pot potatoes when I was a youngster. Let's hear a nursery rhyme. Which one would tickle your ear? Uh, old Wormy Worm. Used to be adults would say this rhyme weren't suitable for tykes, but it's the tykes who made the rhyme. It's like when people grow old, they forget what they knew when they was young. Old Wormy Worm. You like to eat. Old Wormy Worm. The dirt's so sweet. Old Wormy Worm. Bite off my toes. Old wormy worm. Chew on my nose. Old wormy worm. Crawl in my head. But wormy worm. Wait till I'm dead. Yeah, old wormy worm. You like to eat. Old wormy worm. The dirt's so sweet. Old wormy worm. Bite off my toes. Alright, it's going around in circles now. Okay. Well, that is definitely darkness. Where is the campfire? continue on south a bit. Past Agarwolf holding her holding her pig. And there's a campfire. So we shall sleep. You dream. An arrow punches through your knee. Surrender, commands the archer. I know a beast when I see one. 
And there we shall leave the journey for today and come back next time, making sure that we talk to everybody we come across. So thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you then. Bye for now.